All right, going to show you how to um, do the hot wire mod for your ignition coil. This is on my S13. Here's the coil. You can see I've already gone and cut the hot wire and stripped the wired ends. That's providing the constant supply of 12 volt current. Let me get down here. It's coming off this clip right here. So don't worry about this big clip here or even this little ground right here. We're not going to touch those. Go ahead and get in here. You can see I had to pull back the uh, the wire wrap a little ways, but you've got this green and black striped wire. And you've got this kind of a reddish, purpley striped wire. This is the one that we're going to be using. Now before I got started, and before you should get started, as my battery is not in the front, you need to make sure you unhook your positive and negative cables. Because if you touch something you're not supposed to, to the chassis, things will not be good. All right, so I'll show you the next step. You can just go down to your local advanced auto parts, get you one of these relays. They're only like seven bucks. Voila, it's what we look like. Here's the top. You see the pins labeled as 30 and then 85, 86, 87. It also says on the bottom as well, so you don't get confused. You'll need one of these. Okay, also while you're at Advanced Auto Parts, you might want to pick up uh, some of these guys. You don't need a big pack. I mean, you're only going to be using like four of them. But they fit onto the bottom of these prongs quite nicely. Yeah, like that. Get you a nice solid connection. You can worry about soldering it later. Just get it mocked up. Okay, it's really windy. Let's see, my battery cable comes from the back of my car all the way up here. You can ignore some of these wires, they go to other things. Right here's a wire that I've attached straight from my positive battery cable. It just has a uh, 30 amp fuse right there. This is the wire that I'm going to be running all the way over here. You're going to need to have either 14 gauge wire probably. Recommends 12, but I think 14 would be sufficient for now. You're going to need to have a wire coming straight from a 12 volt source such as your battery cable. Okay, so from the battery or from your reliable 12 volt power source, you're going to want to hook into, uh, my focus isn't working, pin 87 there. Pin 87, right there. Okay, next, you're going to want to take this wire here the one that's giving the power, since this one's not getting any power anymore, take this one and you'll want to attach a wire to it. I have another one of these clips here. This one is going to go to pin 85 on your relay, which I've got sitting right here. Okay, now I've got this wire going to the end that goes to the clip itself. Now I'm just using dolphin clips or uh, bean clips so I do I uh, work in the alarm industry and these are what we use to do connections but uh, you should use soldered connections for best results. I'm just using what I have on hand and of course wrapping it with electrical tape and I'll be making this look a lot nicer you know tape it up like that when I'm done but this one right here is what you're going to put where it says 30 
That's uh, going to be the one that goes to this clip here. That's where the power goes out to. There, so without too much trouble, didn't take me that long. Did everything as I was recording here this late afternoon. The coil, look, let's hook that back up. I've got my wires here in the clip. Got the relay, which without too much trouble you can get to go through that screw right there. And you've got your pins. Now let's review. You've got the uh, one where your power is coming from your battery goes into pin number 87. And then you want the wire that's bringing power to the coil, you want that one to go into pin 86. <clears throat> now you've got this one here going to the actual clip on the coil. This one's going to be pin 30. And then your last one, which is just a ground, which I'm actually going to ground right to this bolt that I connected the relay to. This one goes to your last pin, which should be pin 85. Now let me get this uh, grounded right here, and I'll go and start it up, see how it sounds. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention. Before you try to start your car, make sure you have your, uh, make sure you have your batteries cables reconnected. Here it goes. That started up a way snappier. That was actually quite amazing. Enjoy your modification.